from San Francisco, California. This is the Rock and Roll Geek Show. This is the story of my rock and roll butler. Welcome to the Rock and Roll Geek Show. My name is Michael Butler. Thanks a lot for joining me. I really appreciate it. Today is Saturday, August. Oh boy, what is this? It's either August 9th or 10th. I don't remember, but whatever day that is, that's what day consecutively I am doing a show a day for the next, for the entire month of August. I just, just arrived back at Jacksonville Beach from about an eight and a half hour, maybe nine hour drive from the Keys. And like I said last time, boy, are my arms tired. <sighs> I did all the driving, but we're back. I'm now driving to the grocery store. I dropped John and my wife off. We would unloaded the baggage. We, this morning, Darren took off early at like at 7.30 to go back to Jacksonville. My wife wanted to go to the Sea Turtle Hospital. I think that's what it's, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a sea, sea turtle hospital in Marathon Key, and uh, that didn't start, that didn't open until nine. So we did that. That tour was like an hour and a half. She's way into that stuff. You know, there's, they rescue sea turtles who either got uh, hit by boats and, and damaged through boat propellers or eaten by sharks or contracted diseases or something because sea turtles are endangered in Florida. So this place rescues sea turtles and my wife is way into it and we watched, we looked at some bunch of sick sea turtles and it was interesting. Not really my cup of tea, but you know, I don't mind it. I do it for the wife and she's way into it. Like I said, a million times, I'm repeating myself. So now I am going to the grocery store. The local grocery store here is called Publix. Uh, I'm going tomorrow we're going to be having a little bit more lobster and I'm going to make a fish chowder with the leftover fish that we cooked on the grill um, day before yesterday some fresh red snapper that Darren caught and I'm going to make a fish chowder out of that and have that with the lobster I'm going I'm going to make I, I, so I need to pick up some um, I'm going to make the fish I'm not, not going to use a recipe I'm going to use the red snapper uh, some white potatoes, probably Yukon Gold or, or white potatoes, uh, some celery, some bacon, some clam juice to make a broth with, hopefully they have that here, and uh, onions and maybe some celery and corn. Just throw all that together and add some uh, half and half to it. Should be delicious. It doesn't really require a recipe, but I'm, I'm gonna, I'm going to get the ingredients for that tonight. Tomorrow morning, we're probably gonna go out in the kayaks and fish in the marsh when it's high tide. And when I come back, I'll prepare the fish chowder and let that, let those flavors melt together all day. And then we'll have that with the lobster for dinner, maybe a vegetable. So that's the plan. And tonight, I'm gonna relax. I've had enough driving. So tonight I'm gonna relax, drink some beers, beers, drink some beers, and then uh, maybe watch, continue watching The Boys, which I've been getting into on Amazon Prime. Uh, my good friend Jasper of the Good Clean Fun show. Good Clean Fun is dead, long live Good Clean Fun. He turned me on to this show called The Boys. It's about a bunch, you probably know about it if you're a nerd. It's about a bunch of pod, a bunch of soup pod, a bunch of podcasters. It's about a bunch of superheroes who are not that great of people and uh, a group of guys who tries to take, who try to take them down. I'm only into episode four, but I'm enjoying it. So I'm gonna watch a little bit of that tonight probably and drink some beers and relax. So that's, that's a little update. Surprisingly for driving eight and a half, nine hours, I don't feel that bad, but, I, but uh, maybe it'll come back and hit me when I get home and have a beer and et cetera. 
we will see. So I'm parking here at the Publix. I'm gonna go in. Maybe while I'm here, I'll pick up some boiled peanuts in the can and check out what kind of barbecue sauce they have that I can bring back with me. We leave for, for San Francisco on Tuesday. So we got tomorrow and Monday. Tomorrow we're gonna fish. I think Monday we're gonna go to the, my wife wants to see the alligator farm. <laughs> And maybe I'll pick up some gator heads and bring those back with me for some souvenirs. All right, I'm going to close out with a song now. I'm going to go back to American Heartbreak and other bands I've played in. I'm going to play another American Heartbreak song. This is off another song off the split that we did with Libertines. Uh, this is Postcards from Hell. We, have, we had an album called Postcards from Hell, but this song is not out on that album. This is on the split. It's called Postcards from Hell. Thank you for listening, friends. I hope you're into these Dog Days episodes. You can find the show at rockandrollgeek.com. You can find more about more shows on the Dog Days of Podcasting at dogdaysofpodcasting.com. Find me on the Facebook r and Geek. There's a Rock and Roll Geek Show Facebook group, which, like I say, always say I did not create, but I do approve people. You just have to answer two questions so that I know you are not... A shoplifter at Publix. Oh, I'm losing my mind. Find me on the the Twitter RNR Geek. Find me on the Instagram Rock and Roll Geek. Don't ask. And please keep the donations coming, friends, because as you know, without your donations, this show would die a horrible, putrid, stench-filled death. I will talk to you tomorrow. Here's postcards from hell from American Heartbreak.
It's a rock and roll geek train wreck. 